<laughs> so I'm a gentleman and welcome to the gentleman's what was the <laughs> gentleman's pixel club gentleman's pixel club <laughs> And he is a gentleman and welcome to the Gentleman's Pixel Club from him. Today on the Atari ST above me we are playing a game that I have been waiting to play for a long time and this game is Backlash. Why has it taken me so long to do this? I couldn't remember the bloody name. I had the picture of the box art in my mind, I had a picture of that eye symbol that you can see there and finally, finally, finally it came to me. So yes, we are finally playing Backlash on the Atari ST that I've been looking forward to be doing for a little while. So this game has already been loaded into the Mr. FPGA, you can see it here. I'm using this controller and I want you to think Battle Zone when you see this. I want you to think Battle Zone, it doesn't quite look like Battle Zone but the concept is very very similar so I'm hitting fire to start the game and in the center of your um, basically uh, I suppose screen here yes of course it's a screen what well, I couldn't find my words you've got this round radar and as I turn to the left and right you can see the little red things move those are the enemies shooting at me so we're gonna head towards them and do some firing it has been years since I played this but I wanted to see some of the graphics here I did enjoy this when I had it for the Atari ST years ago can I remember much about it no I bloody can't and look at all this all this firing I've only got 150 points so far so i'm really just focusing on the the red shots which i, I got shot from somewhere i'm really just focusing as i get my ass handed to me i was really trying to just focus on the red shots and all you do is you go for a high score it's a shoot em up game you know there's, there's nothing more than what you see here you know we're literally going for a high score to get the highest score to continue through the levels okay let's shoot some enemies there are things like uh, now, oh, oh, they come out of the ground there. That, that, that's where the enemy comes out of the ground. There are things, and I like the explosions, there's things like these, the, these here. You can bang into them and you can't move past them and they can get in your way and cause you to get shot. So, you know, this is me just dicking about right at the beginning, you know, just to try and show you what this game is a little bit before we get into the serious gameplay, if you can consider serious gameplay on this channel. This video has no viewers comments, this is one of the ones that I'm actually doing um, so that we have a little bit of backlog because I do travel for my job and I do want the backlog videos so that if cases where I can't be available to make a video we have some spare and we have a couple spare at the moment and this is one that's going to be on the list. Those explosions are really pretty as it breaks up in the air and it falls down like confetti. I've scored 956 but by god Look, look, look at the amount of zeros that you've got there, what it thinks you can score. You know, I doubt I'm going to get anywhere near this. Oh, what's that noise? What's that noise? That's something bad. Can I face it? What the hell? I forgot what the... Oh, oh, what? Look, that was a homing missile or something. There was definitely something coming towards me that I managed to get rid of. So let's kill you. Those enemies at the moment look like spinning um, tops. So let's hunt a few more. This was actually meant to be the demo level, but you know, I'm doing kind of okay for myself for the moment. So you know what? This works. And you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we won't die as quick as I thought we would. But you know, this is pure arcade fun. This really is. If you like Battlezone, you know, it doesn't have the aesthetics of Battlezone. You know, you're not on a, uh, you're not on a neon, uh, is it, would it be neon? No. Oh, oh shit, shit, shit. You're not on a vet. Oh, I forgot it did this. I forgot this happened. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is there? Is I forgot we could go tonight. You, you, you're not on a. Oh shit! There's another one of those missiles. Come on, where are you? That 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 rapid attack sound that they do. Yeah, it's like Battlezone. You're not on a Vexa moon, but you're on a, a different kind of moon. Come on, I'm not doing too well at the moment here. Yes, I'm getting a few things, but it's it's just random shooting that keeps me alive, that keeps me alive. And on this channel recently, I have been trying to control my swearing a little bit. Usually there would be a lot more cursing, swearing, and everything else like that. But since the incident with the Amiga video of Lollipop being not censored by YouTube, but they literally want you to be over 18 to watch the video of that game and that gameplay of a children's game that I was playing called Lollipop. Well, you know, it, it, I suppose it had a bit of a, oh, come on, just die. 
I suppose it had a bit of a dark theme to it. But, 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 you know, there was perhaps a little bit curse in here. And there was a message um, from, from one of my viewers at the bottom. The profanity count was a, a bit high on this one. So, you know, I, I've been doing my best. I can't always get rid of the swear words. I've always been swearing. Maybe I'm doing a lot of reversal at the moment. Trying to find, Look at those sea of missiles come towards me. You know, I've been, always been a bit of a sweary Mary. But, you know, I'm doing my best to be a little bit better. So, you know, maybe, maybe I will find my place in the good lord's book if I, I stop my swearing for a few videos. Dear God, stop shooting at me like this. You yeah, that's bastards. You know, that, 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 there, there was just way too many bullets there. Come on, if you stand still, you're going to be dead. You know, look at, look at that hell of them. And I think if you've got over 10,000 points, you, you, you are going to get an extra life. Come on, let's head towards that. Can I kill you? Uh, no, nothing there to kill, but it was a nice thing on the ground to go and visit. And I got sideswiped by a missile. Okay, so you're dead. Maybe we could just sit here and let you come out the holes and just cheese you a little bit. So 7,800 points. Okay, we'd have to get about 20 of you to be able to do that. And that isn't going to work for too long. Oh, no, 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 no. The game was smarter than me. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Kill you. You're gone. Okay, I'm looking at the radar. I'm actually feeling the sweat running down my face. It's still, still hot on the day that I'm actually recording this. You know, in the UK we have had a a, a blast of weather, and the day that I'm recording this, we're still reasonably near to the the lollipop incident on the Amiga. Hence why I mention it, where I'm trying to control my swearing uh, a, a little bit and not swear so much. I did just back. Those, those words, there's different words that want to come out. There was very different words that want to come out. Yeah, so just trying to control it a little bit. But no, this is a fun game, and this this certainly is a challenging game. The the, the opening level give you, you know, no, no, you know, sense of, you know, fear. But as soon as you get to this level, you know, 12,000 points, sweat running down this side of my face, a missile being shot at me. I can hear you, I can hear you. Oh, come on, oh, it's, look, it's right by me. And it got me. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't shoot it, couldn't get it. And I'm on my final life. Okay, there's another one here. There, there. Got you. Oh, that that was too near. And when I was shooting it before, for some reason, it just wasn't colliding. It wasn't hitting it. But this is just a pure, pure arcade game. And although it's very much like Battlezone, part of it, part of me feels, I just look at all the shit on this radar as it fires. There's a sea of red absolutely everywhere you know come on i need to kill a few more things come on come on come on part of me part of me feels very much like battle zone sorry not battle zone like it feels like battle zone but like space harrier as well but just look at all that chaos coming down towards me you know it looks like they're missiles and i never notice it oh no i don't know do they have limited oh no they don't have limited range you know i thought those missiles were expiring before they got me maybe some of them were but, you know, they're, they're, there's quite a few too many there. All right, I need to clearly get near whatever that is that shoots in me. Where is it? Where is it? Is it behind me? Oh, oh, oh damn it. And I got sideswiped by that. So there we are. Game one that we played, 16,319 points. We've not played it before because, look, last is zero. Although we have played it before a long, long time ago. And just look how cheery this is. Yeah, nothing to worry about go into the game what could go wrong and you know what we are going to have another go on backlash if you've not played this grab yourself an atari st emulator you know i think you will probably enjoy this game because this is a fun game although it kind of already looks a little bit more busier on this level than what it did before and look, i've only got three points so that means i must have oh, got 150 now so i must have shot one bad guy and 154 four missiles so it looks like it's a single point per missile you destroy and 150 points for a bad guy hello come to me yep you're gone as well all right so differentiation ah damn it differentiating or recognizing the difference between the missiles as i get my tongue all twisted around a british word i think it was a british word and you know trying to spit stuff a cat is a bit of a pain because all i see on the radar is red and i know that there's the white things there there's a white thing there but my eyes are naturally drawn to to the red so i've got to stop focusing on the red because you know what there's just so much of it and just try and blow um the daylight out of the, the these things here the spinning tops but while we've still got the easy enemies and i'm still missing you everywhere all right come on two more spinning tops i can see you there 
One more left, one more left. Oh, you're not a spinning top, you are a flying one. This time, can't shoot those. Those And I've been shot. Those pyramid things are like the squares and the triangles you had on the moon of Battle Zone that you couldn't get past. We've got a long way to go to get anywhere near the high score that we had before. And what we're going to do, we're, we're, we're going to try try and beat it. You know, I do want... Oh, oh, oh Mr. Mr. Where are you? There you are, there you are. Oh, there you are. Damn. Oh, is there two of them? Is there two of them? Come on, I can't see you. I can't see you. Yes. No. Yeah, there you are. Shit. Oh, I, I thought there was two of them for a minute. I, it sounded excessively excited as it approached me. Right, okay, there you are. So go down here. And joystick literally is forwards, back, left and right to turn and steer. Yo, this is, this is just so pretty for a game that came out in 1987 as I blast away trying to see the enemy. And you know what? I'm just creating... Yeah, oh, I got you as you come out of the ground there, you, you nasty little thing. Yeah, I'm just creating a sea of things that's blocking my view on the screen, on the radar. You know, I think the the, the way they've done this game, the way they, they've set out this game is absolutely great because you've got a full screen of gameplay that you can see and they very cleverly put the radar right in the centre but it works as you effectively... You, 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 oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are two of those... Okay, I must have accidentally got that. Yeah, it works. It, it works to have it where it is on the screen. You know, it feels very much like Elite, where you had effectively the the, the radar just below the the, the centre of the screen in, in the ship's console, but having it as part of your receptacle where you actually fire. If that's the right word to be using for this terminology, it just works so so well. So we're ten thousand points or thereabouts off where we got to before. So let's just focus on here. Come on, come on, come on, got you, got you, and I got shot, I got shot from behind. Alright, fourth, uh, no, that wasn't very fair, what, 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 why did I get shot so quickly there, I literally just stopped for a second. Alright, okay, so we, we've got to get 2,000 points to get another life, I think it was 10,000 points, oh, oh, look, one of those eyes, one of the eyes from the front cover and we didn't see him long enough because I died. Or because he died, not I died, he died. Although I'm going to die, so I might as well say I died because I spent so long dying. Oh, and I died again. I spent so long dying. But we did really poor. We didn't, you know, we, we got just under 50% of our first score. And the first goal was a down. So, you know what? We're going to have one more go on this. But if this game appeals to you, if you like Battlezone or anything else like this, honestly, fire up an emulator. If you have a real Atari ST or a Mr. FPJ, Fire that up on there and, and give it a go. This is a sweet, sweet game that really is have one more go. The reason I'm only going to have one more go of this and not do this is you know, what we've we've seen. You know, uh, uh, you know, basically the basic elements of the game and everything that we've got here. You know, I'm not 100% sure that I can justify this video lasting for 30, 40 minutes unless this is a really excessively good um, gameplay session that I actually do when we go on. For that long but you know I, but I do these videos and when I create these videos you know it's, it's not all about doing videos for videos sake although you know I do like to do a daily video you know that is the goal of the channel is am I going to come out of there no you're not that is the goal of the channel to have daily videos but you know I am always delighted when people all come and line up line up line up got you got you got you I'm always delighted where people find games that they've not seen before or they reminded of games that they've not seen before by what we play by what we do you know I get nothing for making any of these videos you know this channel you know it doesn't even have enough subscribers to be monetized but this is done for the love for the fun of doing it and I truly love retro games I do love playing these old games and this and to me although they're old games they're games from my past because you know I'm not the youngest of people you know I'm effectively, you know, one of those people that's working their way towards God's... Oh, 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 oh what's that? What is that? Uh, that that was a slightly different looking enemy, I think. And what the hell? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see... I can't see the missile. I'm trying to see the missile coming towards me. Damn it. Got it, got it, got it. All right. God, there Oh, shit. There was a moment of panic there. And then I got side swiped and wiped out. Yeah, so I'm one of the people that is working their way, as we all are. We're at our own pace towards God's waiting room. And, you know, I don't particularly want to be going there too quickly, but I do remember a lot of these games from the past, and this is why I have so much fun playing them, because, you know, I am... I have... Oh, that was close. That was close. 
Oh, oh. Come on, just stop, just stop with these bloody missile things. And I have no idea how I even survived that. Yeah, I, I have the pleasure of remembering these first time round. And to me, playing retro games is like reliving your childhood. And, you know, all of us, you know, are big kids at heart, if, we, if we're really honest. You know, who, who the fuck wants to grow up? Well, some people want to grow up, but I, I don't particularly, you know, want to grow up. And I, I think I've done a pretty good job. Aha, got you, got you, got you. I've done a pretty good job of not growing up, you know, you know already so you know i'm not looking for things to change too quickly i would like to see one of those eye monsters as well and i love the fact when you blow things up you can go forward and then you can sort of like let's try and show you go back and the 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 the, the pixels the, the 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 wreckage of the the enemy floats down all right so we've been taken from behind and we are now on oh, oh you nearly got me there you buggers you buggers you know we're on nine thousand eight hundred odd points so i uh, one more Oh no, not one more of those. You know, hopefully one more enemy and our points will tip 10,000 points and those lives will go from two to three. Shit, there's a sea of hellfire coming towards me. This has now got very busy, very quick. This game came out on the Amiga. I never played the Amiga version. Oh, come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's that missile coming towards me? Now let's head towards you. I'm going to take the fight. Oh shit, there you are. There we are, 10,000 points. We have now flipped to three lives, soon to be back down to two lives. Yes, I never played the Amiga version of this. I suspect it's just as fun, just as good. You probably got a slightly better graphics because, you know, in all honesty, there was, oh, of all the games that came out on the Amiga um, and the Atari ST that came out on both platforms, you know, there was only two or three that the Amiga um, were, were worse conversions. You know, uh, as they mostly the Amiga had the better games and the Atari ST because of the capabilities of the machine being more of a machine ah, and I'm dead being more of a machine for music artists you were in a world where you know the, the, they were better at doing the music and the Amiga was better at the games anyway I do hope you've enjoyed that video we never actually beat our high score you know we played three games of this the first time we got 16,000 the game before we got 8,300 and then we got 11,300 this is not an easy game my hands are a little bit sweaty from playing on the controller because there's been a lot of intent holding a lot of intent gripping on this but backlash is a great fun game and i'm so pleased i remembered the title of it and it came to me and look at the box above me that eye creature there i wanted to see more of those eye creatures we just saw one very briefly in the game and i think that was in the um, 8,300 gameplay that we had but no I've had fun playing this game hope you've had fun watching this and if you've not seen this before maybe this is a game that you will enjoy if you have seen it before maybe it'll make you pick up an emulator and have a go on this yourself all of you take care all of you look after yourselves and enjoy each other see you next time goodbye